Hello everybody, welcome back to My Slice of Heaven Outdoors. I'm Joey. If you remember a few weeks ago I uh, started to cold stratify some chestnuts. Uh, chestnut seeds I got from Chestnut Ridge of Pike County. And in case you don't know, the Dunstan, according to Chestnut Ridge of Pike County's website, the Dunstans are a cross between the Chinese chestnut and the American chestnut. And it's been a few weeks since I've looked at these seeds, and we're just going to open them up today, look in, and see if we see anything that might be wrong, such as mold building up on any of the seeds. I'm not going to dig all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to scratch off some soil, look at a few seeds. If everything looks all right, I'm just going to cover it back up, put it back in the fridge. Uh, the first one we're going to look at today is going to be the extra large Dunstan seeds. And I know my last video, I it kind of got screwed up on my sound, so I lost some sound. But what I did is I bought two, they're both Dunstan chestnuts, but I bought a pound that they sell just for seed, and I bought a pound of the extra large nuts that they sell for eating. Now I did get a quite a bit more out of the seed nuts because they were smaller but I'm just but the extra large chestnuts are actually cheaper than the seed nuts so my thinking is if I can get the extra large ones to grow and they're cheaper to be cheaper just to buy the extra large uh, seeds or nuts so that's going to be an experiment that I'm going to be running this winter and spring. So follow along and, and see how they do. The first ones we're going to look at is the extra large nuts and see how they're doing. And I'll zoom you in a little bit closer so you can look in here as I go along. The peat moss still feels pretty damp. I don't see no dry spots. Okay, I'm just going to be careful. I... I I think I put a little too much uh, peat moss in here. There's one nut that seems to be doing just fine. Don't see nothing sprouting yet. And it's only been a few weeks, so I don't really expect to see any change at all. And again, these are the extra large nuts. And you'll know when you start, if they get mold on them, because the soil will be sticking to them. You'll see like a coloration on them. These all look really good right now. And I'm not even going to worry about checking the bottom row. I'm assuming if the top ones are okay, then the bottom ones. We're okay. There you go, we have some mold. Hope you can see that. You see how the dirt is sticking to the chestnut? That is mold on that chestnut. I see a faint little bit on this. Faint little bit on that one. This one also has a little bit of mold on it. Seems to be affecting this side more than the other side. That one looks okay. Seems to be the, the four. There's another one that's getting a little bit of mold on it. We'll 
pull one of the bottom ones up. Let's take a look at it. That one looks okay. Looks okay. I'm going to stick these over to the side right now for a second. So far I have five that have a little bit of mold on them. It all seems to be with ones on this side of the box so far. And I'm going to try to save these nuts, and I will show you how to do that in a separate video. It just seems to be on that one side that's affected. I don't know why. But, uh, looks like we had five of them that was affected. I don't want to disturb this too much. I don't know if I'm supposed to or not, but... We're going to try to save those five and I'll show you how to do that because I just learned this from another channel I watched. Uh, John over at Lake Erie Chestnuts. He was showing us how to take care of the mold that builds up on the nuts and we're going to do that right now. Yeah, I hope you can see that. You'll see a little discoloration right there. That's mold. You see how the soil is all stuck to the nut? This one may be a little too far gone. I don't know. We'll try to try to save it. All right, guys. So what I did is I put a. We're going to try to take care of the mold that's growing on the uh, chestnuts. I found a total of eight of them in that first bin. I went ahead and went through some of the bottom ones. It seems like it's only affected on that one side. And what I'll do when I put the lid back on, I'll put the writing on the infected side. That way, I'll be sure to keep an eye on that side of the uh, uh, container. But what I did here is I got one cap full of bleach and about a cup of water. So it's a diluted bleach substance. What I'm going to do, what I'm going to do since I'm sitting here working at my table, is I'm going to... Take a nut and try to knock off all the dirt. Yeah, you can see that. Old was on there, getting on this one pretty good. Okay. And just drop it in the bleach for a second. The bleach, uh, con not concentrate, the uh, diluted bleach solution. And I'm probably just going to work on three at a time for right now. Because then what I need to do. Is just take a rag dipped in my solution. And wipe off each nut. Wipe off the outer shell. And after I go through all eight of these nuts, I will put them back in the uh, diluted bleach solution and let them sit in there for about a minute. Then wipe them off and put them back in the container. This was the bad one here. Pretty cool to find out if this works though and we can actually save these nuts. This is my first year attempting this, so I am by far no professional. I even read another guy actually wipes his with hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide before he plants them to kill any fungus or bacteria that might be on the nuts. If 
you guys can see this pretty good. Now I don't, I'm assuming that it would spread if I left it in there to the whole container. So that's another reason I want to take care of this now. I've actually seen videos of other people that just put their seeds and nuts in the container and then come spring when they take them out, any of the ones that had mold on them, they just throw them away. Guys, that's the eight large nuts. We'll put these back in the bleach uh, solution. If I get bleach on this table, my voice won't kill me. And just let them sit in there for a minute. in a few minutes. I uh, washed them off with the bleach solution like I showed you. And then I went ahead and rinsed them off. I didn't know if I was supposed to rinse them off or not. There's no really good info on that, but I did rinse them off. And now I'm just going to stick them back in the soil. I'll try to keep them on this side. Uh, that way I can follow along with the ones that were infected by the mold. My peat moss is still pretty damp. So we're going to go ahead and call this one done. I'm going to put the cover back on it, get it back in the refrigerator. And like I had mentioned before, I'm going to put the writing on this side. That way I know which side to keep an eye on. Alright guys, this is the second bin and these are the actual seed nuts. A little condensation on lid, that's okay. But you will notice right here, hope you guys can see that. See the little discoloration right there? My peat moss is drying out right there. So I will want to add a little bit more water to it before I put it back away. And again, the same thing. We're just going to check the top ones. If they are okay, then I'm pretty sure the bottom ones are okay. I see some of them that have a little something on them. I can't really tell if it's uh, some sort of fungus or if it's just like condensation on the nut from being in the cold, damp ground. But if I have second thoughts about it, I will definitely just rinse it off. That one definitely has a little bit of mold on it. We'll take care of that one. And I'm going to check the bottom level right underneath of that one. That one's okay. Nothing sprouting yet, but most of them look pretty good. I had one with definite, two with definite, definite mold on them. Two I'm a little questioning about, so. Now to this, look at this one. This one has a lot of mold on there. We'll clean that one up, put it back in there. This one, again, it seems to be isolated on one side. I don't know why that is. Yep, definitely got mold on that one. Who knows, guys? This is my first attempt. This might be a complete failure. But I will keep trying.
don't want to really disturb it too much, but I don't know else how to how else to check them. Everything else seems to be okay. So again, I have looks like I have another eight, all from this side of the box or container. So let me go way down deep in one of these. I'll just check one of these down here. Maybe check two of them. Yeah, this side looks pretty good. So, what I am thinking, I really, I don't know, I'm just guessing, but maybe I should uh, spin the boxes around while they're in the refrigerator. Maybe one side's too cold or too warm or not cold enough, or I have no idea. Uh, let me get these ones cleaned up and put these back away and I'll be back with you. I'm going to move that one over this way because I'm going to try to keep an eye on these ones here. Just push them down in the soil a little bit. Again, all I did was wash them with the uh, bleach solution and rinse them off. What I'll think I'll do next time is if I see the next check, I'm probably going to check again in two weeks. If I see these ones have mold on them again or any new ones have mold, I may go ahead and empty the whole container and make sure they all get cleaned off pretty good. This soil does seem a little dry, so I am going to spray with a little bit of water before I put it away. But that's it. And again, I'm going to put the rain on this side so I can keep an eye on those nuts. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today. Uh, hope you guys found this informational. I am learning as I'm going. Like I said earlier, I am by far no professional. But I hope it helps somebody. So, guys... Until next time, I hope everybody has a great day, and I will see you next time.